guys, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? So, we are doing something a little bit different today. So, I am going to be heading outside with my drone and doing some test flights with it. I have already been out and done one test flight on it, uh, which I did record. Um, my camera decided it was just going to stop recording before I'd even got started. So, never actually ended up filming anything. But basically, what happened was I went out with my uh, drone. Now at this point it had it didn't have the legs on it and it didn't have the wind shields on it uh, because they just kept falling out. So I thought I'll just take the drone out as it was, which was stupidly difficult to fly for some reason. Uh, this drone is not steady at all. But uh, I figured what I'd do is I'd go back in. I would super glue the legs on. I would super glue the. Uh, windshields on and then I could take it out for another flight and in doing so the legs stuck on perfectly but then I spilt a little bit of glue that I didn't know about on my trousers as I leant forward I may possibly have super glued my stomach to my trousers leant back ripped all the hairs out partially ripped the skin on my uh, stomach which hurt like absolute hell and then when I put the glue in for the windshields I also noticed that the holes go all the way through and into the motor for the actual blades so it kinda doesn't fly as well as it should anymore uh, so we're going outside now uh, I've also had a bit of an issue with it trying to sync from the remote uh, to the actual drone itself uh, I'll put a tiny bit of footage up from that uh, so you can see just what it is that it was doing uh, and then we'll head outside and we'll try it again right now to see how it's going so see you on the other side guys right, come on connect I know you've connected you've beeped to tell me so no Is it doing it this time? The flashing says it's trying to connect. Oh, it's not even an option for your phone to connect. Right guys, so uh, since the last bit of a clip that I just showed you, uh, I may possibly have took the drone outside, set it up to my phone uh, and tried it in the garden. So whilst I was trying it in the garden, I literally all I managed to do was take it straight up in the air and straight back down and when it came back down it didn't land in my garden. So yeah, I've retrieved the drone from next door's garden 
Uh, so instead of just doing it in a small space like the garden, testing the drone, I'm now going to head out to a park or something like that. Uh, I don't want to do it here on the lake. Uh, I'll maybe see about that on the way back. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll get some good drone shots of like the local park or something like that. Uh, so hopefully I can get this thing up and running properly and we can see just what it can do if it's connected to my phone. I know I've had a few issues with it not uh, saving the videos so hopefully, hopefully it'll save the videos this time and uh, we can have a look see what it'll do. So that is it for now guys, so bye! Right, so what you just saw there was the best piece of footage out of all of the recordings that my drone did. I had about eight videos of just the grass, uh, and then there was a bunch of other things, and when it took off and it flew, most of them didn't record or didn't save for some weird reason. Uh, it only wanted to go in one direction. Uh, just, I could turn it as much as I want but it still only wanted to go one way uh, so you can't seem to get any decent video footage with that drone uh, it's jerky as hell it's like it's, woof, 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 woof. it's just you know no smooth movement it just kind of woof, stretch up that's it or whatever it, there's no smooth movement to it at all uh, so if I have any advice for anyone out there, don't get a drone from Wish. That is the biggest piece. In fact, no. Don't just get a drone from Wish. Don't get any electronics at all from Wish. Uh, because they're all cheap knockoffs. None of them really work. And as there's another YouTuber out there uh, who has actually done tests and bought all these things from Wish and tested all of them, not one of them worked. So, yeah, there is my advice for you. Do not buy anything electronic from Wish. Do not buy Pokemon cards from Wish. They will all be fake. Do not buy anything that you think is real, that you want to be real, because it will be fake from Wish. Uh, so, yeah, that will be my advice for you guys. And I will see you all later. So, bye. <laughs>